Hi, everybody. It is January 24, 2019. First order of business is to say this is what I get when I have tried to email to those who have donated a delivery status notification failure. All right. This happened twice yesterday, but in the past couple of months, I've received probably from four different people this. I can't, I can't reach you to thank you for your donations. And that upsets me because I think, well, on the other hand, or uh, on the other hand, um, you who are out there, you've donated and you don't hear from me. You might be thinking I'm taking this for granted or, you know, I don't care. I'm not grateful. That is not the case. You know, donations are needed, so you can trust that they're not taken for granted at all. But this is what I'm getting, and it, it is very upsetting. Um, you know, very often people don't share their username. So when it comes through PayPal, I'm getting your real name. I don't know who you are because your username is different from your real name and then I can't even leave underneath one of your comments a thank you. Only one person was I able to do that with and I never got a response from her. I kept writing, um, are you seeing my responses, my thank yous for your donation and I get no response. So look, cyber communication all communication, real communication in the real world. Everything is just breaking down. But I needed to post this just to say thank you so much. If you have not received uh, an email from me thanking you, do not think that I haven't tried, please. I so appreciate it very much. Next order of business, parents grandparents. I've decided to make a subcategory in the connecting with others. The subcategory parents, grandparents. I have received so many emails from parents or grandparents over the seven years, but I've received more and more in the last couple of years parents, grandparents who are very, very upset about what is taking place, their tr parents who are trying to talk to their adult children about whatever uh, issue, vaccines, um, products that are not safe. And what they are getting from their adult children is what all of us get from just trying to, uh, quote unquote, wake people up hostile responses, the threat of, you know, if I received from a subscriber, her adult children was threatening her from uh, seeing her grandchildren if she did not get the flu shot. And a lot of parents and grandparents are alone in this madness. So I am creating a subcategory, parents, grandparents, email me if you want to connect with other people, other parents, other grand um, grandparents, you know, to share your experiences, to unload some of the emotional um, feelings that you are having, the stress that you are experiencing, to find support with one another. You can also pass along uh, critical information like this. Tylenol damages the brains of children. You know, I, I, I have time because I can't work. So I look at what's going on in our world. And yes, our world is rapidly turning into this evil, uh, insane, violent mess and considering that we're ineffective in trying to wake people up and um, 
so many relationships are just breaking down. I get a lot of comments from people who say they their family won't talk to them. They've been ostracized in their communities. When you're alone with all of this and you're feeling the grief, the uh, whatever it is that you're feeling in terms of what's happening in your own life with your own relationships, it is very, very difficult to suck it up, you know, to not uh, have people that you can share your experience with. You know, the feelings actually become toxic. So that can be a danger in itself. So you can email me at neverlosetruth at gmail.com. I will put that address below this video. And if you are a parent or grandparent, please put in the subject heading parent, grandparent, so that I can place you in that subcategory. And if you are someone who just wants to connect with other people in your state and haven't emailed me already, then uh, shoot me an email, neverlosetruth at gmail.com. And in the subject heading, put the state. And I don't want to leave anybody out, so I apologize for saying state. Um, you can put the country that you are in. You know, I have Canada, I have Germany. Um, I got comments from people underneath my videos, the connecting videos, people from France and other places in the world. So, um, no, I'm not leaving any of you out. You know, I look at what's happening. At, at all the products, the vaccines, and the idiocy of the PC, the transgender, the all of it. It's, it's getting worse. And, you know, Tylenol here, the toxic side effects you should be aware of especially if you are pregnant and use um, acetaminophen, acetaminophen um, during pregnancy. You could end up with a child with autism, ADHD, um, neuropsychiatric problems, lower IQ, hyperactivity, social behavioral problems, um, and I will link below to everything. But essentially, you can end up with a child with brain damage. Don't give your child these uh, painkillers, children's Tylenol, or <clears throat> or um, Benzocaine. I guess it's a product for teething children or mouth pain. You risk serious and potentially fatal blood disorders from benzocaine. And I'm not going to go into the specifics. You can click on the link and read the information here. Uh, tramadol codeine can cause breathing problems for your children. So if you're a nursing mother who takes codeine or tramadol, you could be passing on unsafe levels of these opioids to your baby, and you could end up giving your baby breathing problems and it can be fatal serious breathing problems um, ibuprofen infants infants ibuprofen how about just vitamins put on the market for children aspartame GMOs and other deadly ingredients uh, we have now glyphosate that our EPA has just been raising the levels and permitting the spraying of Roundup on, well, it's apparently, this was in 2016, in 70 food crops, ubiquitous. It's, yeah, finding food that is healthy now is incredibly difficult. So if you have a support network, you could be passing along information to one another, but also getting the support that you really need. 
Yeah, I, I did get, and, and what prompted this was an email that I received from a subscriber who lives in Nevada, um, not going to go into any specific uh, details because I don't want to identify this person, but she's got a, a, an adult child in a college. The college is littered with cell towers. Each student has at least two Wi-Fi devices. These are killing fields. Colleges, malls, communities where you live. We, we have now a killing field. They have constructed a killing field for all of us, especially for all of us in Western countries. And she disclosed some of the symptoms that she is experiencing, some of the symptoms that her daughter is experiencing um, as she goes to this college. And it's heartbreaking, but she doesn't know what to do. Um, she has you know, educated her daughter about the dangers and she's, well, from my interpretation of what I read, She's at her wit's end and asked me for advice. I don't know how to get through to people that are adults that, you know, just about basic, um, you know, relationship issues. I don't know. It's, it is a time now that we are living that we have not lived before and whether it's the frequencies that are um, kind of cementing an awful lot of individuals, their brains in thinking a certain way and there's like no way to penetrate that wall, that might be the case. So my only advice is, you know, it's kind of three times and you're out. You try to get through to people. You try another way to get through. You try another way to get through. And if you can't get through, then you've got to back away. But you do need support from people who have similar experiences. That's why I do want to create this subcategory for parents and grandparents. You know, there's it, even the transgender issue, you know, and I planned on making a video about this. The APA, the American Pediatric Association, I posted a video on Kafka Winston World when the AAP, or what is it, the American Academy of Pediatrics, I'm sorry, when they came out with a statement, their official statement on transgenderism. And in that statement, this was a couple of years ago, in that statement they said that it was nothing short of abuse to initiate any kind of hormone treatment or surgeries for children. They very clearly stated it is abuse. Well now, they have a new policy statement. It came out October 2018. Here is the link to it if you want to read it. It's very long, but here on their website, they have a summary of their policy statement. And I can't believe they fell in line. They fell in line. Nowhere does it say abuse. In fact, it says it's a good thing. They recommend the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends supporting insurance plans that offer coverage specific to the needs of youth who identify as transgender, including coverage for medical, psychological, and when appropriate, surgical interventions for youth. That is abuse. I don't care if the Academy of Pediatrics uh, doesn't now see it as abuse. It is abuse. 
Children, okay, children, we know, go through a process. It's a developmental process. It is ongoing until they reach the final end point of that developmental process. If you as a parent allow your child who's still in that ongoing developmental process, if you allow them as a parent, you get to say yes or no. And if you say yes to surgical intervention, hormonal treatment, you are altering you by your own decision. You have altered their natural process, their natural developmental process of who they will become. And nothing can be more abusive than that. You know, there's so many organizations that come out and say, encourage your child. No, no. Allow your child to just be. You know, you don't have to affirm their, if you have given birth to a boy, you don't have to affirm they're a girl. You just allow them. You know, you, you support their process and you don't, uh, don't go any which way. Don't demand that they be a boy. Look, we have so many um, hormonal ingredients that are altering these children. And my heart goes out to the children, to the parents, to the grandparents. I can't believe what this world has become. But yes, they are eating foods that our EPA has allowed higher and higher levels of pesticides and herbicides, and they are the endocrine altering pesticides and herbicides. They have ingredients in these pesticides that are literally altering the hormonal balance of your children. So, is it abusive if you have a boy to demand that boy if it's seeming to behave a little bit like a girl? Is it abusive to punish that child and demand that boy be a man? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's also abusive to encourage a boy who was born a boy, who's now behaving, you know, and says that he's a girl. It is equally as abusive to encourage it and then allow that child to have hormonal treatment. Children do go through phases. Now they are going to schools and our public schools have that agenda. You know, uh, my God, kindergarten children are asked to uh, choose what gender they are. They are getting these children very early, incredibly confused. And it takes a very, very strong, healthy parent to develop a strong, healthy adult today. So because I don't have children um, doesn't mean I don't feel for you guys. But the best advice that you can get is from one another going through the experience. I feel for all of you. My God. I can't imagine. I've tried to imagine what it's like today to have a child, adult child, uh, grandchildren. I know that so many of you are right now looking to have a grandchild brought into this world, and it's a bittersweet experience. So you absolutely are excited and want, you know, your grandchild, but you know what the world has become and what it's becoming. And yes, I understand that it's filled with a lot of 
uh, angst and misgivings and stress. The, the only thing that I can offer is a subcategory and I will um, hook you up with one another. So if this is something that may help you, please email me, neverlosetruth at gmail.com. Put in the subject heading, parent, grandparent. For those of you who just want to meet up with others who are quote-unquote awake, email me, put in the subject heading, your state, your country. And at least we can alleviate a lot of the emotional angst that we are going through. Thanks for listening, guys.